Hello out there everyone, Manny here at Area 503. Hope y'all are doing well, we got some interesting stuff to talk about today. Up until last week I had never heard of Sunspot, New Mexico. I'm guessing you hadn't either. Located 18 miles outside of Cloudcroft and at an elevation of 9800 feet, Sunspot is home to the Richard B. Dunn Solar Telescope. The Dunn Solar Telescope extends 136 feet above ground and it continues 193 feet below ground. Now I'm not sure what they're studying out there but maybe it has something to do with what's coming up. September 7th the Alamogordo Daily News reports that Sunspot Observatory is closed due to a security issue. Also dated September 7th, KVIA in El Paso, Texas ran this segment. Let's take a look at it and we'll come back and talk about it. Closed until further notice, the Sunspot Observatory is empty and it's unclear why. The facility located about 15 miles south of Cloud Croft was evacuated yesterday for security reasons. ABC 7's Modisu Casilla spent the day at the observatory searching for answers. He's live with a story to only on ABC 7 Modisu. Estella, we know that the FBI is the agency that evacuated the facility, but no one seems to know what exactly is going on. Absolutely empty. The Sunspot Observatory, a tourist spot and research facility taped off. When we were there, we didn't see anyone going in or out. No one. Officials with the observatory are tight-lipped. We have decided to temporarily vacate the facility as a precautionary measure. And we're working with the proper authorities on this issue. Even local law enforcement doesn't know what's going on. They asked us if we knew anything. Residents in nearby Cloudcroft are just as puzzled. Yeah, I knew law enforcement went out there recently for some sort of incident regarding the United States government, I guess is what I heard. Um, like I said, what I know is just rumors that are going around town. Nothing really happens up here very much, and since nobody knows, it could be almost anything. 13-year-old Montana Peterson says one of his friends who lives near the observatory was evacuated. He just said there was a bunch of, he said FBI, uh, a lot of law enforcement went up there, and everybody had to get out. A post office near the observatory has also been closed. Right now, what we're told is that they've uh, temporarily evacuated the area. So we haven't been told why or when that expires. Residents also say they saw helicopters flying over the observatory on Thursday. As locals, I feel like we should know what's going on around us. I reached out to the regional FBI office in Albuquerque to see if I could get some answers, but I still have not heard back. We will, of course, let you know as soon as we get answers. Estella? Hopefully, they'll respond pretty soon. Thank you very much, Mauricio. Well, folks, I apologize for the audio quality on that clip. I will be getting better at this. So just to summarize, the solar observatory that's located at 9,800 feet in the mountains is evacuated by the FBI, and they've evacuated the local area, including the post office and local residences. They are, however, declining to comment and not returning any phone calls that ask for a comment on the situation. Local law enforcement has been kept completely in the dark, as well as the local authorities. And locals have seen helicopters flying around, which would be identified as Black Hawks. Now, the Black Hawk helicopter has a wide variety of roles in the military, one of which is for VIP transport. And as you can see here, this versatile machine can be used for anything from transporting personnel and equipment to a mobile command base. So there was nothing more in the news up until September 12th when KVIA in El Paso would run this follow-up piece. We continue to investigate the closure of the National Solar Observatory in Sunspot, which was unexpectedly closed last Thursday with no explanation given. Sunspot is located about 15 miles south of Cloudcroft, New Mexico. Christina Guaya joins us now with more on the investigation from the New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. After coming up to the Sunspot Observatory for ourselves to find out why it and the post office remains closed, we found that many officials remain tight-lipped about the reasons. We also ran into quite a few locals and people traveling from out of town, driving straight up to the entrance of the observatory to find out for themselves what exactly is going on. 
We heard it was closed and decided to see if it was still closed. There is a buzz going around in both Sunspot and Cloudcroft over the sudden shutdown. I don't know what that is. I just heard about that today, some uh, cloak and dagger thing that's going on up there, and I actually have no idea. Does it concern you at all that the FBI is investigating it? A little bit, yes, but there's lots of pranks, and so that's probably what it was. I reached out to the FBI, but they did not return my phone call. The FBI did speak with local law enforcement about the length of the observatory closure. They spoke to uh, our sergeant initially and indicated that they'll be down for a few days. So that could be uh, anywhere from a few days to, to months is f from uh, Mike's past experience. The FBI did not, however, tell Sheriff House the reason for the closure. As for the post office in Sunspot, a spokesperson with the USPS told me they were left in the dark as well. <laughs> Well, uh, we were told on September 6th that uh, we'd be evacuated along with the surrounding area. We weren't told why that was the case, but uh, we were told to just be by the area. When I asked him who told him to evacuate, he told me... That we don't know. And as for a timetable for reopening the post office... No, that's still up in the air. Uh, we will remain suspended until we're allowed to return. Sturgeon did tell me, however, that post office employees were transferred to the Cloudcroft post office for the time being, and regular mail service is being offered for residents through the Cloudcroft post office as well. We'll make sure to keep you up to date on air and online at kvia.com with any new developments we find. Reporting from the Sunspot Observatory, Christina Awayo. So here we are almost a week later, and the federal authorities have evacuated this mountaintop. They have given no explanation for it, and they continue to give none. One local resident describes it as a cloak and dagger thing going on up there, while the other describes it as some kind of prank. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think the federal government's going to shut down a whole mountaintop in the middle of nowhere for over a week because of a prank. Now, everyone would be very tight-lipped about this until September 20th, when the Associated Press would report that the FBI had closed Sunspot due to a child pornography case. Sources here at Area 503 searched the FBI website, but were unable to find a press release stating any information about Sunspot or the case. I smell bullshit. Now, a lot of people have suggested that this whole story is just a cover-up for a Chinese or a Russian spying attempt. Now, I tend to go with that particular theory just because it explains all of the resources spent on this. It explains the secrecy. And it also explains the previous witness statements that there were agents climbing around on towers that were looking at devices and it seemed that there was something attached to one of the antenna up there. What do you guys think? Go ahead and tell me in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thank you all for joining me today. This is Manny at Area 503 signing off and I'm returning to my search for universal truth. So until next time, farewell.